How you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job is a 16H articulating cylinder. This articulates the back and front of the grader from each other, helps with steering, stuff like that. Customers brought in with a few dramas. Uh, it's got written on it, it has internal bypass. So they stripped it off the machine, put on their exchange one, uh, got this one back to their workshop, uh, pulled it apart and figured out why it had um, bypass. Uh, the reason for that is the bolt come out of the end of the rod and the piston fell off. So there's a piston and a bolt floating around somewhere inside the barrel. And the rod's got a bit of damage to it and the barrel's got some damage to it. So we'll just show you what's going on with them. So the barrel's got a bit of a big lump. So that sounds like the washer flopping around on the on the bolt. Um, the piston is jammed, we have tried to retrieve that already. The rod's got a little bit of damage, not a great deal. Uh, a few of the threads in the end of the rod were damaged. Uh, that's just from where the, the bolt unwound itself and finally pulled itself out. So we're just gonna clean all them up. The bolts are pretty long, there is a lot of thread in there, so we don't have to do any anything else to the rod. We'll just clean up those threads and they'll, they'll be okay. So what we've got to do now, we've got to cut off this, this oil port here, get it out of the road. We'll set it up in the lathe, I'll drill a centre into this end and then I'll put the live centre up against it and we'll take this weld out here and try and retrieve all those parts and then we'll get underway with manufacturing a new barrel for it.
Cut us misses, safe job site. Right, guys, so we've machined the end of the barrel off. We've retrieved uh, what parts we could out of that. So the bolt and the washer, the bolt's dead and the piston's no good either. Uh, it actually did quite a lot of damage to the piston, the barrel and the bolt. So we've got our new piece of material set up to start working on the barrel. This piece of material is a piece of four inch by four and three quarter hone tube. Uh, we do keep a little bit of this in stock, so we've cut it to length. We've just got to drill a 19 mil hole or three quarters of a banana hole in the end here for the oil port. We then got to put it in the lathe, we've got to weld prep one, one end. After we do the weld prepping on that end, I'll then take it out of the machine, I'll weld this spitting on, I'll put it back in the lathe after it's cooled down, and I'll do the internal thread for the cylinder gland. We then got to flip it in the machine, we'll get the barrel end set up back, uh, running true with the barrel, we'll tack that on, we'll pull it out, we'll weld it up on the rotator.
I need to find my little plug. Taper in the end.
more time. They'll, they'll be okay. That'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fantastic. <laughs> Barrel's got a bit of a hemorrhoid in it. <laughs> Pimple, big lump. A bit of an exchange, um, fuck. I'll put a lot of, fuck. Then gotta put it back, we got. Oh. Right, guys, so you saw me remove, oh. in the machine now. <laughs> I'll put it back in the lathe after it's cooled down and I'll do the internal thread for the cylinder gland. Um, at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, what am I doing? Just the end bit. What did you say? Oh, fuck. So, um, after it's cooled off, we'll do it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's funny. <clears throat> oh, shit. Come on. What was I saying? Oh dear, that won't be reusable. <laughs> um, give me that. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> On your bed, go on. 